I figured I would keep the pumpkin spice train rolling and try the pumpkin or fall menu items from every popular drive through coffee chain in my area. <laughs> I decided to start with Dutch Bros. Now they didn't have a traditional pumpkin spice latte on the menu, so I ordered a caramel pumpkin cold brew. I've only ever had Dutch Bros, I think one other time. Their drinks for my taste are super, super sweet, but I'm really excited to try it. Okay. It's not bad. It is definitely on the sweeter side. I'm tasting more of the caramel than the pumpkin. It has a very like caramel toffee kind of undertone to it. So if you are into like the caramel toffee kind of flavor palette, you're gonna absolutely love this. I'm gonna try it again because I didn't get that much pumpkin the first time. I'm still not getting a ton of pumpkin. I do like it. I mean, for a sweet drink, I really like it. It does have fall vibes. Definitely the predominant flavors, I would say, would be caramel, toffee. Um, tastes a little bit like a like a ginger snap almost. I mean, they definitely got the fall, uh, the fall flavor palette right. So I will give them that. It's not a bad drink at all. I just wish there were a little more pumpkin in it. I would rate this maybe a... 6.5 to 7 out of 10. Next up we have scooters. This is my second time trying scooters. The first time I tried it was in Arkansas and I absolutely loved it. I did not know that we had these in Texas so I was really excited when I saw that there was a location near me. I have relatively high hopes for this based on my experience with Scooters Arkansas, so we'll see. This is just a traditional pumpkin spice latte. I got it with oat milk and I will be trying all of these drinks iced because I live in Texas and it is still in the 70s and 80s. Very sweet. And I'm assuming all of these will be very sweet, but the pumpkin flavor is really good. Fairly pumpkin forward. There is that kind of caramel toffee cinnamon sort of undertone to this as well um, that's relatively strong. Really sweet, really heavy. It has like a tiny, 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 tiny bit of that like artificial plasticky taste, but most things like this will. This would not be like a daily driver every morning coffee for me by any means, but I really like it as a sweet every once in a while treat. Okay, <laughs> I feel bad. Um. But I have to revise my overall review of the Scooters PSL just a little bit because as I've been sipping on this on the way home, it's gotten, it's gotten less and less palatable, not because it's not good, but because it is so overwhelmingly sweet. I mean, the flavors themselves, again, the flavors are good, but it is like a dessert in a cup. It is like you, you took, 20 cake pops and and added a little bit of sugar and just blended it all up in a blender. Not to say that it's not good. I just have such a less sweet palate that I'm gonna have to bring this down to like a six just because of long-term drinkability. I think it's one of those things that would be better served in a little sample glass than a full size milk drink. Next we have Dunkin' Donuts. This is just a traditional pumpkin spice latte with oat milk also. Again, it's still really sweet. That's expected, that's predictable. There's a pretty good balance of flavor. I can actually taste the espresso in this one, which is nice. Yeah, it's got a good balance of pumpkin flavors. It's got some of that spice kind of gingerbread. There's a lot of toffee in this again. Every single one of these drinks has been aggressively toffee and um, gingerbread kind of forward in flavor, but it's not bad. I don't dislike it at all. Um, it's very autumn. I'm trying to drink more of this and kind of review as I go instead of just reviewing on my initial impression because all of these sweet drinks build really heavily as you drink them. It's always a really nice 
first few sips and then the sweetness of it really starts to hit you and I'm kind of having that with this it's just it's very heavy and very sweet that's my one overarching criticism across the board is that I wish the syrup and sugar to coffee ratio was drastically drastically different because I think these places have really good flavor profiles figured out you can taste pumpkin you can taste the spices you can taste the toffee the gingerbread but I wish that it were more balanced and just a little bit less sweet and more coffee forward because the concept I think is great uh, I think that if they offered these drinks with half the amount of syrup and maybe a little bit smaller so it was more espresso forward and just started to reel in those ratios just a little bit, these would be really, really excellent drinks. I will still say, despite the sweetness, that if we're just talking flavor profile, so far this one is still my favorite. Maybe like a 7.5. All right, last but not least, we have the classic Starbucks pumpkin spice latte. First of all, it's been a good while since I have gotten coffee from Starbucks, and wow, it's gotten very expensive, but maybe they have drastically improved the recipe and this will be worth every penny. So let's see. Um. I'm trying to gather my thoughts in a way that does not sound overly negative. Um, this is not the best. It's not my favorite one. In fact, it's probably my least, it's probably my least favorite one. The flavor profile is just very strange. So I will give this that it is less oppressively sweet than any of the other coffees that I tried from the other coffee shops. Like this is the least punch you in the face sweet, which really surprised me because my memory from drinking these in like high school was like, scented candle cake pop, like sweet. And this one is not that way. It's not oppressively sweet. So I'll give them points for that. Um, but the flavor profile, is not great. The espresso that's in it, this is a, I mean, this is like a, a fairly ubiquitous complaint and truth about Starbucks coffee. The espresso is very over extracted and the beans are definitely roasted, very dark. I'm not getting a lot of pumpkin. I'm getting a little, I'm getting a little, but there's really no strong definitive flavor to this at all. It's really strange. Maybe I had this on an especially bad day. I feel absolutely terrible that my take on this is so brutally negative. I really don't want to exude those vibes. So I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and say that maybe I just got this on a really off morning um, because this is not good and if I had to rate it I would give it like a three or four maybe a three a 3.5 3.5 out of 10 I'm grateful for the coffee I'm grateful for the caffeination that I will get and the fact that this will help me feel more awake and present through my day I'm very thankful for that but flavor wise, there is not a lot of redeeming value to anything that I'm tasting in this. And I'm tempted maybe at a later time to get another one because this absolutely cannot be the default flavor. I have to be catching it on a bad morning. And I, yeah, again, I feel absolutely terrible for being like scathing. Those are not the vibes that I wanna give off on this channel. So I'm really, really sorry because that's not the intention of this channel. But I have to say that overall, I am not thrilled with this. And I will say that this is my least favorite pumpkin spice latte. Since to my knowledge, there are no other popular 
national coffee shop chains in my area, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. This will probably be the first of a series. Um, I'm planning on doing popular coffee chain showdowns for different things, maybe filter coffee, maybe regular lattes, maybe winter seasonal drinks. I don't know, if you have any ideas or anything that you wanna see, definitely leave a comment and let me know. But this concludes my pumpkin spice latte coffee shop chain showdown. If this has put you in the mood for a pumpkin spice latte, I will link somewhere at the bottom of the screen here my last video, which was an at-home super, super easy pumpkin spice latte recipe. Also, let me know if you guys tried that out. Thanks for watching.